Hey guys, I'm just at the local soccer and football field. Just thought I'd set a jump up, try and clear this bar on the rugby league goals. My uh, diff's just about had it, so I'm just trying to give it a few more runs before I fully rebuild it. This is going to be pretty sketchy if I miss the, the ramps. I think um, this car might break, so hopefully I don't destroy it. Just going to set up a camera. Hopefully you get some decent footage at least. It's pretty wet out there this morning. Alright, just make sure my car's driving straight first. Alright, this is a Creighton 6S. I've got the Hobby Star 4092 motor with the um, the Max 6 ESC. Alright guys, I'm gonna try try and hit this from here just to get the line up right. Alright, that's gonna be a challenge. That is gonna be hard. That's a long way. I really gotta work out how to set these ramps up so they don't move as well. I think I'm losing a little bit of distance with that I'm super nervous <laughs> today with this this is pretty scary this car's going quick all right guys I'm gonna try it from from over here I don't know if you can see that that post is way above my head but it's it's a bit of a distance away that's the that's the tricky part Yeah, baby. Can't believe it. Made it. This thing is an awesome machine. Absolutely awesome. I'll step it out for you guys. This is the goal line. About 17 steps, which I'm fairly tall. It's a pretty good, pretty good jump. Just got to make sure these are set up straight. Otherwise, I'm going to end up going somewhere I don't want to. It's amazing the adrenaline it gives you just from this. So nervous. One, I, I want to clear the jump, but two, I don't want to just destroy the car for no reason. All right, guys, let's try to see if I can get another one. Easy, easy. This car's a machine. Well, guys, that I am absolutely stoked that that's happened. That I can clear that. I was thinking about it last night, hoping that I'd get down here and there'd be no one here because it's a really busy time down here at Easter. All right, I'm gonna try for three in a row. I'd love to give you guys a different angle, but I can't. I'm um, line up the ramp very well. All right, guys. Well, that's 
three in a row. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm hitting these at, at pretty much full throttle. I brought my GPS today. I'm going to test it. Um, see what sort of speed I'm hitting there. All right, I'll go for one more. Then I might set up something different. This is pretty sketchy if I miss the ramps. Oh well, once it gets up that high, the car doesn't want to keep moving forward, which makes it hard to control in the air. Alright guys, we're going to have a couple more runs at this. I've got my other camera recording now, so see if I can clear it. Perfect day, no, absolutely no wind. Alright, here we go. Oh, a bought. Got a bit squirrely there. I'm trying to hit it too fast. All right, guys. Oh. Under rotated that one. <laughs> Whoops. Well, at least I've got a marker for where the car landed last jump, so I'll be able to measure that in distance. Alright, guys, this I'm going to try and hit this pretty quick. So, running a 17 tooth pinion on this. Um, I want to check the speed later. I don't think it's going to be much more than about 70 k's an hour, if even if. So, all right, here we go. Well, this car's just doing it with ease. Alright guys, I'm going to try and give you a slightly different angle. Just, it's going to be tricky to line up, but... That was close. <laughs> that was very close to hitting that pulse pole there. Man, this thing is awesome. Just trying to get a reference point. Oh. Alright, that was not ideal. <laughs> I did suspect that may happen today. Kind of like getting a long run up. That was full, full throttle. Oh, guys, that was a bad landing. 
That was so, so subtle. Oh, guys, that was a. Bad landing. Got distracted by myself talking. All right, I'm gonna measure that one out. 32. Is that? That was a tail landing. Couldn't quite see it. I I do want to land one from the from this angle. I'm just losing the car a little bit in the light. See what we can do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was awesome. Well that cleared that 26 meter one, so a uh, 26 step one and landed, so that was pretty good. All right, guys, I'm going to set up the GPS uh, to give us an idea of the speed I'm hitting these ramps at. All right, everyone, I've got this Dynamite GPS. Uh, I've never used it before, so hopefully it's <clears throat> going to work well. All right, guys, I'm going to try and find somewhere to put it in the car safely. Try and get a pretty reasonable indication of the speed we're hitting here because I've got no idea. feels fast. All right, guys, so... First attempt with the GPS, see how we go with it. Eighty five Ks an hour, that's pretty good, guys. I'll um, convert that to miles when I get back, but wow. I wouldn't have predicted it hitting that speed at that in that short a distance, so I'm very impressed. It did feel fast, but I just wasn't sure, so... Overall... This thing is amazing. Just kept going. There's some big, big jumps there. So that's the starting point there. And then you can see those divots out here in the field. That's where it, it ended up. So I think this section here is about eight meters. And then this next bit here is about 10 to this line. So I don't think I got any quite that far, but yeah, it's pretty decent. At least 25 metre jump. And um, yeah, that's quite high. I mean, if I stand, I'm six foot one, stand there like that, I'm, I've still got another foot and a half, two feet to that post of that upright. So yeah, all right guys, thanks for watching and hope you had a fun, fun experience there. Glad I got these ramps, they're a lot of fun, but yeah, also, if you don't land well, you're going to cause a lot of damage. Alright guys, have a good day everyone, happy Easter.